I wanted to, uh, to. Oh, I picked out some nice men. She didn't like the men I picked out. Oh, horrible. She could have married this Gerald Geddes. He was a millionaire, gave her a gorgeous ring. He decided not to marry that guy. She had to give the ring back. I went awful. She had a, a proposal of marriage from Paul Geddes. Remember Paul? Uh -huh. The richest man in the world? He married Teddy Lynch. Then you could have married Jordan McClanahan. He was another millionaire. He wanted to marry you. She just didn't want to get married. That's all blamed on me. No, I never fell in love when I was 31. I don't know. I think it would have been a lot of fun. Yeah, everything's good that you didn't do. At the time, you didn't want it. I couldn't get away. Well, you, that's the choice. You can't go back and say, feel gorgeous yeah, right I now, and say, I, oh, why didn't I, I do this? Leave. Because you didn't feel then the way you do now. Everybody thinks and feels differently as the years go by, don't they? Yeah. yeah. It's that I came down here to take care of my mother. I was sick and tired of worrying about her night and day. Well, I had a very good... I was good away from her for I had a very good man. And I was sick and tired of lying I had a very good man to take care of me. You know, he took care of me. Wondering what was happening to my mother. 25 years. She didn't have to worry. <laughs> Did you receive our condolences after that... that terrible thing with Jack? Oh, I, I, I meant to thank you. I'm sorry. You've had quite a rough go of it, haven't you? I don't think I was ever really cut out for public life. Such scrutiny. No judgments here, Jacqueline. Terribly sorry, Jacqueline. Do you remember Jack's brother, Joe Kennedy Jr.? No, Edie, he died in the war years before I even met Jack. When he died, I cried. I really did. Joe was an extraordinarily beautiful young man. Oh, I was really taken by him. Yes, too bad he wasn't taken by you. He certainly was. <laughs> it's no secret they were grooming him to be mm. president before they ever started looking to Jack. He was a superb dancer. He really was. But it was his manners I remember most. I was the golden girl. You certainly were. Edie, get us some pate, won't you? You know, if Joe hadn't gone down in the war, then I certainly would have married him, and then I Edie, have been... Edie, don't! Just get us some pate or ice cream or something. I'd have become first lady and not you. Yes, Jacqueline. It could have been me. I wish it had been you, Edie. I really do.